working to make the world a happier, greener, more inclusive, more fascinating place. Learn more about the story of United, the story of an airline when it's good and leads the way. My name is Joe Sons, and I'm here for today's flight in Brown Mile for the night. We're going to bring these guys for over 48 years in our flight test of If you believe in love at first flight, you better fasten your seatbelts. Look high and to your left, where our Boeing 777-300ER is making its first ever appearance at the EAA Aviation Convention in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Captain Randy A. Abraham. He's flying today in the safety observer position or jump seat on the 777. Randy's a former United States Air Force experimental test pilot, a former flight commander at the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School, and an instructor and a former instructor and evaluator in the Cessna 237 twin jet trainer and the mighty F-16 Fighting Falcon. Randy and I, by the way, is by way of uh, Affiliation with the EAA are recently acquired owners of a AirCam experimental amateur built aircraft. Now, in this pass, Randy and his team are going to show you the aircraft in the down and dirty configuration, as if preparing for a landing. As they get in close, take a really good look, and you'll see the landing gear being extended and the flaps lowered to give you a view of the aircraft in its landing configuration. Here they'll be sending, or now descending to a height of 350 feet at 180 miles per hour. Boeing 777 low speed flyby. And the only thing missing in today's flights are the flight attendants safely preparing the cabin for its landing. With the distinctive profile of the Boeing 777 300ER, its 242 foot long fuselage distinguishes it from the shorter 777 200 versions of the 777, which boasts a range of over a staggering 8,500 miles. The only one that the airplane you see can make it all the way to the South Pole, filling over the new. Ladies and gentlemen, the 777 300ER. Mr. 
Belmont, but uh, Mr. Moon, Bowen. Go. Hey, Joe, uh, thanks. I appreciate you uh, giving me this opportunity to uh, further promote uh, AV. Uh, as we both know, United is uh, trying to be the best airline uh, out there. But we have a very uh, impressive uh, growth plan that starts here in January. So, uh, come January, one aircraft will be added every three days. And uh, when you have that many aircraft, you got to bring in some amazing pilots. So, we have a goal of bringing in uh, 10,000 pilots in the next decade, and uh, Aviate is going to help them. So, Aviate is broken down into two different components, and what is really cool about it is uh, no matter where you're at in your pilot career, you can come and be a part of the United family. Okay, uh, so the first uh, part is the academy, uh, where the first major airline uh, has a flight school in Mexico City, in Phoenix, uh, Arizona. And like you said, one of their major goals is to expand the university. Thank you, Mo. Thanks for joining us from the United Aviate Program. Preparing for a third pass as you look out over at Over Lake Winnebago. Straight ahead of you, passing show center at 500 feet and 250 miles an hour. Our captain of the flight today, Captain Ty Lapsenheiser, will execute an aggressive pitch up with the line out over the EAA Museum off over our shoulders to the left, giving you a sense of scale and performance of this huge airplane. As our United 777 flies overhead, notice how quiet this jet liner is. Although each General Electric 1990 engine develops over 150,000 pounds of thrust, quiet technology that is allowed to keep us all in a small way. I'm going to head in just a minute here and hand the mic back to Bo and tell you a little bit more about the ABA program. Thanks once again. But real quick before the aircraft makes its way back, I want to talk about the second component, which is uh, the ABA program itself. So it's pretty cool because it allows you to interview uh, with United uh, very early in your career, and you can be able to find time with our partner, uh, university, or flight school, and then they go to the United So no matter what component you pick, whether it's the academy or the ABA program, uh, you're going to be a part of the family, get exposed to the United Culture, and accept us of all the different Thanks. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks, Well, as I mentioned, the United Indian Academy is a presence around the field. Check over there in the Career Center. Stop in and talk to Mo and his, uh, his uh, colleagues over there about the United Indian Program and the United Indian Academy. The only one of its kind operated by a major airline in the United States.
pit tour. Uh, United is a Boeing test pilot, and a United light pilot prior to this job, and he still flies the C-17 as a contract pilot for the Boeing aircraft company. Uh, Ty is United's chief test pilot for the Boeing 777, and he is captain in command of our aircraft today. Sitting next to Ty in the right seat, is Captain John Mawinney. John is also a former aviator, naval aviator, A3A6. United is privileged to have thousands of veterans and active service members among our employee ranks. Although the Boeing 77 is normally flown by a crew of two pilots, today we have added that safety pilot for this demonstration, utilizing an ultimate and crew resource man. Once again, directly overhead, out over Lake Winnebago and headed our way for his final pass. Captain Ty Lautzenheiser in the United Boeing 777-300ER. Thank you. United Airlines, connecting the people and uniting the world. 